Yeah, we've got no way. Yeah. Oh, I hate this. Yes. Where are you? Oh. Oh, man. Why did I let you convince me to come into town on Christmas Eve? Oh, come on, Mike. Magical. It's nice to be in town at Christmas, isn't it? Soaking up the atmosphere. We can't be doing anything together anymore. Well, I'm waiting for you to tell me when Series 3 is starting. I don't know, Mike. I mean, all my leads have dried up and, to be honest, I'm not feeling it anymore. I'm sorry, Mike. I know how much you enjoyed our investigation. You know what? I'm done. Can we just go? Can we just go get the bus? Okay. I've just got to go to B&M for some chocolates. Not B&M, for Christ's sake. It's nice not to be in prison this Christmas, Mike. Do we have to? <coughs> do we have to keep talking? Yeah. Can we just not? Christmas was always a lively time yeah, in jail. Less guards on duty. Usually a good stabbing or two to watch. <laughs> we got presents too. I remember thinking Father Christmas must be pretty slapdash with his naughty list if he's giving presents to criminals like me. <laughs> yeah, right. whatever, kids. Listen. I just want to sit and watch TV now, okay? I'm really tired. I've only got tonight and Christmas Day tomorrow just to relax. I have to drive down to Portsmouth to pick up Mike Jr. on Boxing Day, okay? So I've only got, what, tonight and tomorrow, so it's not even two days. I had two days to relax, but I followed you into town, didn't I, on your advice, and it was totally shit. Okay, Mike, you can relax now. Right, good. Thank After you. we've finished our annual Father Christmas stakeout. No, no, we're not doing that this oh, year. Mike, I missed four years in the slammer. Oh, come on, man. Didn't you even stay up? Yeah, I did. Every year, but not to see Father Christmas. Why, then? We'll just have a good old cry. <laughs> anyway, I reckon tonight's going to be the night. We're definitely going to see Father Christmas. Santa Claus is coming to town, baby. <laughs> I'm going to get me chocolate tea. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna bath. I can't eat anymore. Oh man, I can't stay up any longer. He's not. He's not gonna come, is he? Yeah, I know. It's a bit pointless, don't you think? Just like all of our investigations. You're serious, aren't you? I'm always serious, Mike. <laughs> Is that a joke? No. I thought about it a lot in prison. And a cynical man might say that our investigations never really solved anything. That we only ended up in trouble. Or injured. Yeah, or with a 48 hour erection. Mm. Yeah, well on that note, I think I might go to bed. Yeah. Them chocolates have given me a heartbeat in my head. <laughs> right, I'm off to bed. And I'm off to my garage. Night, bag. Night, Chris. I'll open the back door about nine. Hey, it's a shame you don't get one of them cat flaps in it, you know, so I can come and go at will. <laughs> yeah, don't think it'd work in the bifolds. <laughs> Anyway, don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, they will. Hey. Mike! I'm getting one of them FaceTime Zoom Skypes. Answer it then. Hello? Hello, Kestrel. It is I, the Reverend Lionel Fancy. Hey, back home. Mike! It's a color of 14 TV. I have been sent by the spirits on Christmas Eve to stop you from making a terrible mistake. I don't believe it. Why do you doubt your senses, Agravain? Well, 
I just ate a kilogram of chocolates from B&M Bargain. Hang on. How do you know my name? I have been watching you. Many times when you have thought yourself alone, I have been at your side. I have seen much. A bit too much, if I'm honest. I see. Also, you've sent me a fan letter every week for the past 25 years. Ah, you did get them then. Wait, are you the real Rev Lino Fanthorpe or the ghost version? His name's not Lino, that's, that's the guy from the Thundercats. He's called Lino. No, it is really me. And although I'd much rather be relaxing and doing something I enjoyed, I come to you on the eve of Christmas. A time when spirits walk abroad among their fellow men with a grave warning. Kestrel? Sorry, I wasn't listening. This is serious. You stand at a crossroads, Kestrel. As you know, in the 1990s, I made great strides. I uncovered the world of the weird and the wonderful. And I did it with my groundbreaking program, Fortian TV. And although your own web series may not have the same production value as mine, or be as successful as mine, and is generally not as good as mine, you are, in your own small way, continuing the incredible work that I did. Well, thank you. Through your amateur investigation, you have, albeit accidentally, uncovered a path, a very dangerous but important path, and for the sake of mankind, you must see it through to the end. <laughs> mankind, what have they ever done for us? I just don't think I can do it anymore, I mean... <laughs> It's, it's just nothing ever goes according to plan. I've got no money. I'm so tired. I just don't know if it's worth it anymore. I might just jack it in and do Deliveroo. Deliveroo? Do, can you even ride a bike? Well, I'll learn. Do you own a bike? I'll buy one with my first pay. Yeah, but what are you going to do until then? Run? Well, I... Please, both of you! Just stop. Kestrel, for the good of humanity, you cannot do delivery. Okay. You cannot give up, Kestrel. You must continue to investigate. You must. Nah, I'm all right. Then I shall be forced to invoke the spirit. Agravain Castro, you shall be visited by three ghosts. Oh, cool. Three ghosts? Oh, how cliché. Expect the first ghost when the bell strikes one. What bell? Do you have a bell on your clock? We haven't got a clock. I could set an alarm on my phone. Oh, well, whatever. I'm off. Oh, and one last thing, Kestrel. Please, please, stop sending me the letters. Right. I'm off to bed. Uh, no, mate, mate, you've got to stay up. Why? I'm knackered, man. If I don't get any sleep tonight, how am I going to get drunk all day tomorrow? Hey. What? Hang on. That's weird. What? How did he call when my phone is dead? What? 
It says he got 45% battery. Oh, no, sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did charge it. Marley's ghost had bothered him exceedingly. Every time he resolved within himself after mature inquiry that it was all a dream, his mind flew back again like a strong spring released to its first position and presented the same problem to be worked all through. Was it a dream or not? I've got the heebie-jeebies, Mike. I don't like the idea of waiting around for a ghost. What are you talking about? We, we literally went out of our way multiple times to try and investigate ghosts. Keep reading, Mike. Get to the good bit with Miss Piggy. Oh, you'd love it if she turned up, wouldn't you, you dirty dog? How dare you! I would <clears throat> never, never go behind Kermit's back like that! He was... That's one o'clock. Now what? <phone rings> Typical. You're waiting around for a ghost, then you get someone at the door. Or, that was the ghost. Do you reckon? Well, let's go see. Hello. <coughs> oh. Ghost of things that have already happened, the, the past. I am. Oh, spirit, what business brings thee here? TV on. You want some TV on? Oh my God, where are we? Oh, it's chucking it down. Oh man. Hey, this is the alleyway behind me man's house. Oh, I haven't been here in yonks. It's all so familiar. The sights, the sounds, the smells. It smells? It smells of piss. You were a boy here. I, I was. My mum always wanted me out of the house. Your first investigations were in this alley. What could you possibly investigate here? Oh, you'd be surprised. Ghosts, strange poos. I remember once me and another lad were following a trail of sweeties along the main road. All along the way we were followed by a white van. When we got to the end of the trail, a man came out of the van, probably a, an alien, and invited us inside. But when I said I couldn't go because it was nearly tea time, he grabbed the other lad, dragged him inside and drove off. Lucky boy. Imagine the wonders he saw. Oh man, give us some warning before you do that. Oh, I'm gonna glow chunks in a minute. Oh, girl, me, it's old Taddywax news agent. I used to be a paper boy here. This was your first job. It was his only job. Hey, look, Mike, there's old Taddywax himself. <laughs> he was such a lovely man. Like a father to me. But I thought he were dead. Guess so. Hurry up, you lazy bastard. Oh, when you see your mum, tell her I'll be coming round later to to get payment for weekly shopping, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be seeing them bargain chocolates again in a minute. Oh, I'm pissing it down. Talking about the old school. Save bastards. When the other boys went home for Christmas, I was left behind. What? Your primary school was a boarding school? My, me, me mum had one of her mental episodes and uh, forgot to pick me up. So I was locked up in the school over Christmas for a fortnight. What did you eat? Well, there's a lot of nutrition to be found in sugar paper and gloy gum. <laughs> gloy gum? Yeah, you still eat a whole gloy gum thing in, uh, in one sitting, don't you? Yeah, it's very versatile. Um, you can have it uh, on jacket potatoes, uh, in porridge, yeah, yeah. or on toast, or yeah. just meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This isn't the only Christmas you've spent here. You don't need to tell me that. I also spent countless weekends, two Easters, and the whole six-week summer holiday I was locked in a music cupboard. 
Sorry, I'm bored. Can we get out of here? It's absolutely pissing it down. I want to go to bed. Let's look at another Christmas with you two. I don't want to see this. Mike. Right. Mike, I know we haven't seen each other for some time, you know, after what, uh, after what happened, but... I was thinking, you know how like when we were kids we used to look for ghosts and stuff? Yeah. Why don't we video it and put it out on the World Wide Net? It'd be dead good that, wouldn't it? You saved Mike's life. That's <laughs> 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 Don't <fucked> up. <laughs> <laughs> I keep putting these. <laughs> I can't get the picture. <laughs> 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 oh. I suppose we have had some good times investigating. Yes, it's not all been too bad, has it? But maybe time has moved on. I mean, we're both happy now. I mean, you've got this bigger house and I've got my sleeping bag in the garage. Yeah, yeah. Paw Patrol? Oh, what? Paw Patrol? Shouldn't, shouldn't he disappear or something? Something to eat? Something to eat? What's it watching now? Oh, just this weird... YouTube kids program. Right, where was I? So, <clears throat> um, there sat a jolly giant, glorious to see, who bore a glowing torch in shape not unlike Plenty's horn, and held it up high, high up, to shed its light on Scrooge as he came peeping round the door. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, what's this now? I'm never going to get any sleep. Come in and know me better, man. What do you mean, come in? This is my house. Well, come here then. Don't back chat him, man. It's massive. I am the ghost of Christmas presents. No shit. Ghost of Christmas presents? Who are these No, ones? get off. They're just props. Why have you got a glowing duck on the end of your stick? It's all I could find. We used to use glowing torches, but we're not allowed open flames these days. You know, health and safety. Mm, yeah, yeah. Aggravating Kestrel, have you ever noticed how wonderful things are at Christmas? Yeah, I really love Christmas. Well, by the end of tonight, you will understand the meaning of Christmas. But I really love Christmas. <sighs> Look, people abroad on Christmas Day enjoying themselves, having a drink, socialising. Yeah, and vomiting and kicking each other's heads in. Don't be cynical, Mike. Anyway, you were. Uh, you get the picture. Let's uh, let's not hang around here too long, eh? <laughs> Who are these people? Subscribe us to your YouTube channel. Yeah. Two, words. Two words. First word. Birds. Pterodactyl. Uh, Eagle. Robin. Two more jet sets. Blackbirds. Kestrel. Oh, Kestrel investigates. Oh, I love that show. No, oh, me too. It's so shit. You what? <laughs> Do your impression. Oh, my bike. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my name's Mike. I'm really sceptical and I like to hide my emotions. You what? That's a bit much, isn't it? Oh, nice. What's this? Well, Junior. Your fish fingers are ready. You know who that was, don't you? Who? You don't recognise it? Molly Rutter? The, the woman, you know, the haunted shed? You must remember that. No. Yeah. Why are you showing us... Kez, I reckon that this is the fruit of your possessed loins. <laughs> no. Yeah. No way. Yeah. 
You better get yourself a job, mate, because that child support is a killer. Oh, my legs. What's happened to your duck? Ah, the light of my duck shines less bright as I exit this world. My time on Earth is very brief, but my work here is done. I hope you two both now understand the meaning of Christmas. Hang on a second, hang on. It really seems like you're trying to convince us, like, to like Christmas. Well, yeah, that's, that's why I'm here. Well, uh, I'm sorry to disagree with you, but I think you're supposed to be convincing him uh, not to give up investigating paranormal stuff on YouTube. You investigate paranormal stuff on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, I do. But why? So, hang on a minute. So you two both like Christmas already? I love it! The <laughs> snowman, Chrissy trees, overeating. It's amazing! I actually like it a, a little less since your visit. <sighs> I get one night to live. Do you understand? And you've had me go banging on about the wrong thing. I'm going to die in like oh, three minutes. My whole existence has been pointless. Yeah, um, good work. Well, can't you do something useful in those three minutes? <sighs> oh, I suppose I could try. Uh, if your course goes unaltered, I see... I see a murder going unsolved. I see a coastal town plagued by a dark cult. And you, running through the streets with a backpack of takeaway food. Oh, great. I'm going to die now. Merry Christmas, me. Fuck's sake. What a fucking joke. Oh, yeah. fucking... mm. Now what? I don't know. Oh, God, now we're just in the middle of nowhere. It's fucking freezing, man. Oh, I'm never going to get to relax this Christmas. Oh. Anyway, Jesus! <gasps> Jesus, Mike. It's the ghost of Chrissy Future. The spirit I fear the most. Why do you fear him the most? Well, look at him, he's got a skeleton head. Oh, my ears. You know that guy in York who does that shit web series? I mean, which one? Kestrel. Does that shit YouTube program about ghosts and aliens and all that rubbish? Nah, never heard of it. Well, he stopped doing it. Right? Yeah. You're not missing much, to be honest. What time does this ghost shop open, anyway? I wonder who they were talking about. Poor lad. Obviously you. They said your name. Well, I can't be the only person called Kestrel. Yeah, but they said he does a YouTube show in York about ghosts and aliens. Yeah, but they said that one was shit. Exactly. Well, that's just what he does every day. Well, yeah, I watch films. Not with my hand down my pants, though. Well, I don't. Yes. Oh, that hurts so much. So what's this? A futuristic street. Where's all the hoverboards and flying cars? No, no, your bang bang chicken is on its way. I I'm just, uh, I'm just totally lost. No, 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 don't shout at me. I, I don't like confrontation. That doesn't look as much fun as I thought it would be. Well, it's very easy to romanticise these sort of things. OK, so, so what happens if I don't give up investigating? Yeah. No! Oh, 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 my ow. ear! What? A kestrel. Oh, oh it could be the grave of a kestrel, you know, like a bird. Wait, um, hang on, so you're saying if we keep investigating, then, what, Kez dies? That's hardly selling it. Right, no, he doesn't die. Well, he does or he doesn't. Oh my, this is like talking to Lassie. I wish you could just talk. I can talk. Well, why the fuck have you... <sighs> that is a grave, and that is Kestrel's headstone, but he's not in it. Well, obviously, I'm here. No, no, I mean future you. I can't find him anywhere. What? 
I'm not in Yorkshire anymore. Where am I? <laughs> and don't say Lancashire. No, you're no longer on Earth. Dead or alive. So you're saying like in 30 years I'm no longer on this planet? 30 years? This is 12 months. Well, could he be in the spirit realm again? I'll check. Nope, not there. Wait a minute, I thought we had to keep on investigating for the good of humankind, but we haven't seen anything that bad. <laughs> I haven't finished yet. in your home and it's morning that means we haven't missed Christmas oh thank god I can relax Mike we've got to keep investigating are you with me yeah are you with me yeah man 100% oh, yeah for lying all yeah for lying all okay. come on let's go out and greet the world on Christmas morning yeah. <sighs> You, boy. Me? Yeah. I'm 20, you pedo. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, what day is this? Uh, today? Yeah. It's it's Boxing Day. Oh, for f 